Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as the Highland Watch, led by Chief Orange Sky, he's a charismatic leader and tactically minded. Though leading these people on a journey of their own, Orange Sky keeps alive in his heart the words of a long past elder always take care of one another. Those words have caused him to pause and take up the defensive or the defense of Rollins Township against the dangers that have set it. Compassion tempers his bold and decisive nature, and his age not dulled his aim with a rifle over his piloting of a motorcycle. He has no intention of fall failing in his duties, neither to his people or those he has sworn to protect, but the steps of Wyoming. Wyoming has been a stopping place for many over the years. It's a shame they never, the calm never lasts. Bulls and frauds. To many, the steps of Wyoming were a welcoming escape. A lonesome road for travelers on their way to the woeful lands of Colorado, or a steady trail on a pilgrimage to the legends of civilization to the west. However, in the days just before the war that broke the world, that peace and solitude was shattered irrevocably. With the arrival of the Alton Burgess mining concern in southern Wyoming, it was not long before economic and ecological chaos broke out. Despite heavy protests from many local towns and ranchers, the company purchased much of the region's land and all its mines, setting up a new HQ in the tiny town of Farson, after evicting the inhabitants. It was not long before their drills, explosives, and picks started to shake the very land apart. Working in a frenzy, they were setting up uh, digging sites and new massive drills as quickly as possible. While many locals were hired to help construct these new machines and excavations, there was no, little to no regard for safety, and the promised pay was, as unfortunately expected, slow to come. With injuries and fury over bounce checks mounting, soon the concerns dig sets were picketed by a number of protesters, and concerned citizens decrying both the slapdash operation and the rumblings that could be felt coming from under Farson at nearly all hours of the day. The company did find the money to pay for our security staff to keep out those protesting and any other troublemakers with more arriving by the day. In truth, Alton Burgess had spent nearly every penny he had on his venture hoping to make an enormous score under the nose of his larger rivals. He'd spent much time in the Appalachian Hills, spying on the activities of, the co of other companies. In particular, his eye was upon the atomic mining services and the experiments with nuclear mining and the discovery of Ultrasight. Determined to recreate the success and results, he pushed his staff and miners to start blasting before the last of the cash dried up. On October 15th, he got what he wanted and much more. The dirty bomb the company procured went off without even a modicum of safety measures those in the East had used and turned Farson and much of the area into a radioactive nightmare. Relief efforts had barely begun when the rest of the world followed into irradiated madness. What supplies had been gathered for the relief before the bombs dropped? Stockpiles of medical chems? Spot the fresh water. Crate after crate of thirst quenching Nuka Cola. Honestly, we'll get plenty of water later on. Honestly, bottle caps are not bad too. Which actually, I might use money. We can use money to buy guns. That's not bad. Um, this is good, but we can get that from the followers of the apocalypse. Let's make money. Alan Burgess Legacy. Jealousy can be a powerful and destructive force, but war in Wyoming. The old mole miners burst forth from the far sun crater and beyond with these terrible monsters leaving their hovels. It became evident that the planes were no longer safe for travelers. Something would have to be done or else they wouldn't ever stop. I hope they could be fighters. But, like they said, we are at war with the far sun, son of a guns. And we do have mole miner skirmishes. Numerous skirmishes with the rampaging mole miners have embraced the peoples of Wyoming for what lurks in its darkness. For better or for worse, they're ready, and the guns are too. They came from below in the years after the bombs fell. Wyoming became a land of hardship and desperation for many. A few bombs fell in the state itself, but around the old far sun radiation still spewed out into the air at regular intervals and poisoned the immediate surroundings. The rest of the former Alton Burgess mining concerns, dig sets, were no safer, and those who were wise gave them a wide berth. Instead, those who had lived nearby went east and settled down in the town of Rollins, which had, pro had a pro been a pro proud base of operations for those opposed to the mining company before the war. Ranchers and farmers, cowboys and survivalists, slowly trickled into the air to all pitch in and rebel. They watched as cattle turned to Brahmin, taters to potatoes, and the first ghouls emerged from the sweeping rat storms. Unbeknownst to them, Something stirred in the tunnels of the West, as one by one the mines collapsed by the blasts long ago were reopened from the inside, wearing heavy uniforms and masks all emblazoned with faded Alton Burgess logos. Mumbling and gasping men emerged into the sunlight for the first time in many decades. At first, their neighbors in Rollins Township had no idea what to make of these strange folks, but when they began arming themselves and stalking the trails for people to snatch up, it became clear they meant nothing but trouble. Attacks slowly escalated year by year, and soon there were few who dared to live outside the makeshift walls of the town. What was the pride of Rollins? Huge herds of hardy Brahmin, as cunning, as cunning hunters and cowboys, crafted gun and ammo smiths. I like a balanced approach. We could use more dynamite right here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Warren Wyoming, and then what? The fields of Wyoming. Orange Sky, meet Ophelia. 
You know what? Well, let's meet a few. I like stability more support. When the Arapo came to Rollins, people were worried things might get even worse. When they lent a hand to help stop the attack, some say there was a golden glint in the sheriff's eye that she grew confidence in that very moment as she and the orange scoffers shook hands. And Ophelia is our leader here. Ophelia, killer queen in Mayweather. But hope unlooked for. Hope was running low in Rollins. As the mole miners attacks intensified by the day and the populace huddled beneath behind the walls with guns at the ready, unable to defend the Brahmin or retrieve food. The creatures had inadvertently besieged townsfolk. On one gutsy morning, however, an outbreak of gunfire and war cries signaled a turn of the tide as well uh, a well armed and numerous party of newcomers struck the bewildered deep dwellers from behind. The mole men panicked and fled back west towards their tunnels as the people of Rollins cheered for the saviors. It was not long before those outside the walls called for Rollins to open the gates and send someone to meet their leader. Sheriff Ophelia Mayweather stepped forth, the de facto leader of the Rollins Township, held, head held high, but heart filled with a mixture of relief and nervous energy. The leader of the newcomers was an unassuming older man with a hard face, but eyes filled with compassion. He introduced himself as Chief Orange Sky and his people as the Arapo Nation. They had come from the northwest on a great journey south, but had stopped upon seeing the dire situation of the town. Speaking long into the night, their meeting ended with the Orange Sky as a head of a new coalition that would stand against the monsters from beneath. Far sun until they were no more, the Highland Watch. What did their apple bring with them in excess? Guns and bullets to secure the way? That's not bad. Are we missing anything? Caps and valuables as barter trade? Not bad. Motorcycles to scout the wide open spaces. Well. Hmm. Cowboys. So basically in the end. Uh course, all states also scored by far some. That's pretty good. The Rollins Arapo Federation, which is not bad. We got a bigger state with each other. I get some more stuff here, which is pretty good. And the wind in our hair, which actually gives you the sophisticated vehicle type, which is not bad, which is pretty cool actually. Or the Cowboys will ride alone. They remove their Arapo collaboration. We lose them. Get more infrastructure for every state, which is cool. You get eight percent more recruitable population, but you lose division attack and core territory. Rollins Cowboys with Rollins Rangers, eight percent insane. The guns of Wyoming bring about peace. You get claim on a lot of states, or probably all of Wyoming, because you can become Wyoming, which is awesome. Equal rights, equal fights. Ah. Okay, so for this, I'm using Old World Blues. Old World Blues tech expanded, generic decisions rework or, or vamp or something like that, and bitches formables. However, I don't see an option here to form the state of Wyoming. Maybe it'll be here someday. Maybe not. We can embrace the tribal way of life too, but um, I just don't see us becoming Wyoming, and I want to become Wyoming. So maybe we could become Wyoming in this campaign, and if we play Highland Watch again sometime, we can uh, go down the other path. I think we're going to go down the Cowboys Road. We'll ride alone for this one. Because I would like to go take out Farsum, take out the Baron's Irie for the trade node, and then go all the way to New Canaan for another trade node as well. So right now, we could probably use more demo equipment and infantry equipment because we're not going to use cars in this campaign, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I don't really care much for... Well, cars can be actually be a very beneficial tool to have. I don't mind using the car sometimes. But we have different division templates. We got Rollins Cowboys. This is the one we should start with. We got the Arapo... Arapaho. I might be saying it wrong and I apologize for that. These guys. So I just duplicated it. So it's just normal column, normal infantry from here on out. Um, spec Ops Divisions, Motorized. So that's who we have right now. Which well, should be pretty decent overall. Ah, these guys are here too. Well, we should be able to do okay eventually. Slowly going up. And we do get, uh, you know, a little more attack and defense and breakthrough against this country too. Uh, oh, that, those are special forces. We can't even tell that. So, I guess we'll go with the Rollins Rangers next. Is this core territory of ours? Oh, they're attacking. We're not attacking. Oh, no. So it's not. So maybe they're all braves? They're all Paho. have fought many great groups over the years and honed their skills and trades with care. The extensive knowledge of show will teach many of the Rollins regulars a thing or two about dealing with the miners. Two groups alike in trouble. With the Arap Arapaho and the ranchers of Rollins both down on the luck, there's a risable uh, sense of togetherness among the two groups, an idea that maybe they weren't alone after all. As the sheriff walked through the street, she made a note of something she hadn't heard in weeks. She heard laughter. Some of the Arapaho were regaling in some of the ranchers in the bar with a tale of their own trials. And she can help but crack a smile, maybe things weren't so bad. Too. The fire is upon the hills. The frontier may be mostly peaceful, but times grow tough and some folks desperate. Change must be made. More We really need to go down asymmetric warfare, huh? We only have three research slots, which kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. 
Um, the Rollins Rangers. Many of the Rollins regulars were just ranchers with too much firepower on their hands. Oftentimes coming into town just because of the taps don't work. However, with a mole minor threat, many of them began to try to organize, even without Ophelia's militia efforts. Calling themselves the Rollins Rangers, these aptly named gentlemen armed their brothers and sisters with well equipped firearms, one stating that they were aged like a fine, crystalline wine. As much as I want more uh, board support, I'm going to go with the power because we need to start chugging along with more PP. Experience supplements, okay. We're led by the people for now. Um, I guess we'll become intellectuals, which usually I don't choose an intellectual path for this camp these types of campaigns, but that's alright. I want more political power. Actually, you know what, with that PP? Increase the PP first, because now we're going to be at over two a day, which is fantastic. Nice, and we should be able to get this. This is going to be the toughest one to do. And uh, industry plan is not bad. Can we get some work as needed? That'd be pretty nice. Uh, stability, asymmetrical. You know, we're going to grab this one first anyway. It, the breakthrough is actually really good. I like to go here to here, make an encirclement, and dazzle us. So let's get some more uh, compliance first. We're not compliance. Oh, did they actually win there? Get some more organization first. And then we're going to choose, actually, Golden Gecko for even more political power and Captain Come, which would be nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, let him distract those guys there, yeah. Conventional Warfare, we'll go with M Michael Bates. Nice, right, encryption's good too. And keep working on stuff like this. Alright, you're looking pretty good. You go there. You go there. You help out. And you help blow them up. Yeah, I played as Farson. I honestly probably had to use Consequence. Commands. I honestly can't remember though. So, yeah. Playing as Farson is actually kind of difficult. It's more difficult. This buff here... I don't know that we really need that buff. Maybe we do, maybe we don't, because trying to defend against these guys, against us, like the Highland Watch, is very, 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 very challenging. Yeah, Free Fighters, lose you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Up out there. Should be able to have it with minimal issues. Oh, Jeffrey. Beautiful. You know, let's start getting some army XP and then we'll get, focus more on uh, stability. And we're going to go asymmetric. Wasteland tactics. I just don't like Wasteland tactics very much. Um, can you, like, not lose here, maybe? Oh, there goes Free Folk. There you go. Yeah, I'm not going to use this division. Um, what do you got? You're inspirational and you're a mysterious stranger. Just because I hate militia, you just don't have enough manpower to use militia effectively. Because you lose a lot of people using militia. We don't have enforcers. I just, I'm not a big fan of militia ever. But if you are, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you like to use militia. Because I wouldn't mind learning more. Some, usually. Not always, but usually. Hmm. The hearts and minds, the people ready to defend themselves will answer a thousand more calls to action. Rollins Rangers. Cowboys will be cowboys. Ophelia had a plan. It was silly, but she knew silly better than any other dude on the step did. By a recollection from when old Slam at Pete was running around, he had left a stash of dino underneath Rollins that he wanted to use to blow the, uh, the bar sky high. With well, the rubber chance, she pondered, what, now what if we threw that at the miners? Orange Sky's teaching so. Orange Sky was a peaceful man at heart, but he knew the world could be cynical to its people. It was simply the way of things. To combat this, he had spent a great deal of time practicing medicine and helping those in need. With the mole miner scourge erupting across Wyoming, sharing this knowledge, he thought, was obligatory. Beautiful. That's not bad. Let's keep beating them down, because honestly, like I said, I just... And this is weird for me to say, because I usually like having super easy times. Just even having this, like, mitigating to maybe 5% more attack, 5% more defense, 5% more breakthrough, I think that might be more than enough, because we start with demo teams, and I think uh, the other side does too. Like, this is... Almost too easy. Like, I, I n almost never say that. So you know it might be too easy if I say it's too easy. But then again, I'm just a guy on the internet. Just uh, for the most part. Uh, lose a little bit of political power for that. I'm okay with that. Consumer goods. Target research speed. Just maximize stability. That would be fantastic. Um, you know what? Let's challenge ourselves. Can we do this and go there? Yeah, seriously. This is ridiculous. But okay, we'll go with it for now. Mo rats are hard to use, man. Are 
don't want to keep attacking us. That's fine. We'll probably need to get another general here. Or a field marshal, really. Rollins deputies? Oh, friendship. Look at that. Perceptive and a hoarder. Well, all right. It had only been a short time since the siege of Rollins had been broken by the arrival of the Arapaho Nation, but much had been done already. Walls were being repaired, pairs of scouts had been sent out in all directions, a caravan and new arrivals had been set up in a makeshift town on its own. Despite the threats still hung over them, all the people of Rollins had celebrated their deliverances with a feast of freshly slaughtered Brahmin and toasted the new Arapaho allies with whatever alcohol they had left. A hopeful and camaraderie air had quickly settled over both peoples as they swapped stories and made plans for the future. Winds rushed through the streets of the Rollins two days after the party, past two figures seated at a table near the center of town, Chief Orange Sky and Sheriff Ophelia Mayweather. She had lunch and cigarettes while speaking of what happened and was what was to come. Over them hung a banner that had been in place as long as anyone Rollins could remember, the faded words upon it reading Rollins for a clean and quiet Wyoming. Not far from the two were several Arapaho warriors showing a group of the local town folks how to clean and service a motorcycle and a group of children dashing about and playing shoot the mole. After finishing the last of her steak, Ophelia asked the chief what had been on her mind since she, they, she had first met the man. Why did you risk your people to help us? Why are you still risking it? Chief Orange Guy drained the last of his bottle of old Roman Walker's ale and looked away for a moment before fixing his gaze directly on Ophelia's. When you're a leader, you always be taking risks. It's choosing the right risks to take that are important part. For me and my, and my people, this was always the right risk to take. Had we looked upon you in your time of need and turned away, we could not have looked each other in the eyes for shame. Leaving you now would be a little better. Some of it is undoubtedly pride, but there are words I've carved into my heart, words from a past elder. The old chief's eyes went distant and wistful, as if he was suddenly somewhere else. Ophelia waited patiently for him, studying the lines in his face. Orange Sky then shook his head slightly before continuing. He said to us, always take care of one another. The two then sat down. They thought for a long while, one thinking pensively of the past and the other excitedly of the future. Maybe things were looking up. Gains for once, happiness prevails. Get more recovery rate, recovery rate for 240 days. Hmm. Army XP gain. I don't mind that. But we're in war right now. Even more attack and organization sounds pretty darn nice to me. Yeah, their special forces are not doing great. Better soft attack? Sure, why not? I can produce guns faster too. Why not? And they're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Safety in Wyoming. The Rapaho and the rancher stood idle uh, uh, side by side on Main Street, dancing and sharing the festivities as peace had come to the step once again. No longer would the mole miners be an issue, Ophelia thought, but Orange Sky was resolute. He and his people had somewhere to be. Oh, look at that. Good. There you go, help them out. Doing that would destroy those two divisions and they would be pretty much left defenseless. Well, not quite defenseless, but oh, pretty, pretty defenseless. South, past mine. Ah, there you go. Beautiful. Alright, so work is needed. Uh, get some more manpower because we are, what do we call, out. Go and help them out. And by helping them out, I'm going to kill them off. You help out. A little dug in. Enduring him. Idiot savant, huh? Good for him. Spend six, not bad. Now you might be able to help out. And you might be able to help out more. Beautiful. I've been watching Baron's Irie. That's going to be tough to break into. Uh, we'll definitely need special forces for that. So. Learn to become a Desert Fox. Yeah. Maybe even a Ranger, too. Beautiful. Dropping that. Or yeah, this one has less, less work, too. Ooh, what was who saying? Hmm. I know I've missed a couple things here and there. In this uh, overall blues A to Z series, so if I have, please let me know. I have not touched the the H words yet, so the hand warband. I've not played as them yet, just because it has the in it. So I'm waiting to get there later. Got it. 
attachment. Let these guys get on the line where they need to be. Or where they want to go, I guess. And we're going to go there. That's very much now. I mean, what do you expect? My goal is just to like, just decimate them, and we are. I was hoping we'd drop their strength faster than their strength, but, you know, or their organization over their strength, but whatever. There you go. Beautiful. You do keep bopping them so we can destroy that fully strengthened uh, Special Forces Division. You can have out here, too. Nice. And there you go. How beautiful. Can't quite pierce some Prospector. But he's going to die. Nice. Ah, feel good. She's a life giver. That much is true. Increase her pee pee. Always increasing her pee pee. If you're not increasing your PP, you're wrong. <coughs> nice. And they're almost gone. Goodbye. I'm gonna go here and take out New Parson. Nice too. Uh, go right there. I'll let these guys move around. Yes, move them south. Yes, yes, yes. Why not? Drop their organization harder. Oh. Yes. Because I want that 10% army XP gain. It's not much, but it's, it's worth doing for now. I want to get the mad. Beautiful. Now come on, be here. Honestly, just go ahead. And you know what? Screw it. We're going to grab for even more army XP game. Shoot them up as high as you can. Let's destroy these guys down here. Oh, you guys want to... Eh, well, you might actually be able to do okay there, maybe. Maybe. Let's go ahead. It's fine. It's fine. Improvised tools. Take expanded. We're just going to grab that one anyways, because I'm sure we can use it. Good, good, good. Stay right there. Hang out. Have a good time. Destroy the strength. Nice. This way, even though we're drawing it out, there's no rush for us to not draw it out. And we get more army XP anyway, so... I'm not super concerned about it. We've lost oh, about 300. They've lost about 400. Okay, you're kind of insane. Why are you still attacking? But okay, we'll do it anyways. Takes, another, takes away another supply point for them. The more damage you do, the better. We are not in any rush here. Yet. Maybe eventually. I don't, and I always get pretty much caravan trader for more money, too. If you have money, I mean, it makes so much life just so much easier. And I've said this in past videos, but like, it, I have no money in real life. So which means I need money in-game. In Make me feel better about myself. That's right. We're all about feeling better about ourselves. Here, blow them up. Because you can. You might want to hurry up before they get the other division in there, too. We're doing pretty well. And they haven't reinforced yet. We we'll drop it to below 20. It's pretty much guaranteed victory. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, seriously, like I said, it's too easy. Seriously, too easy. It's it's very difficult as uh these guys up here though. Very, very difficult. Nice, no, okay, well go ahead and do that. You know what? Keep them all in place. Not a lot of move. Ooh. There you go. Have at thee. Have fun. Mm, we could do that. Mm, we don't have to do that one necessarily yet. Optimize trading so that we get more money. Get 50 more caps in total, which honestly we're not using too much money right now. We might as well build it up, right? Cowboys with the cowboys. Ah, oh, the fire is upon the hills. Changes must be made, my friends. Ah, they're forcing the defense. Interesting. A 
really trying to grind it out, aren't they? Um, I don't like cheap weapons. Van Graaffs is okay. Infantry equipment, more breakthrough. I always do this one. So I love soft attack. But this is for melee, though. We're not using melee weaponry. That doesn't make any sense for us to use. So Chinsky Engineering. Monthly Population Docks. Stitch and stab wounds, pulling teeth, amp amputating legs, removing that growth that you don't want other people to know about, do doctors at all. You know what? I never choose this one again, so I'm going to choose this one right now. Good, look at that. Ah, more manpower. Love it. And you want to come down here for this one because you get more uh, daily army XP, which we desperately probably could really use. As we're desperately... Well, we're not desperate right now. We're not really. We're just trying to crush everybody in our way. In a wool path. Ooh, this is good too. More stability. That would be fantastic. Even though at the end of this war, we will have 100%. Almost 100%. Maybe we'll see. Okay, so we got him done. Yay! Highland Watch is looking pretty good. Um, honestly, we might take out the dry blowers. Give ourselves a better looking time. Now, we are using the some mod fast justification here, so... It's going to take a while to get there. We'll see what happens. Safety in Wyoming. There are Paho and the ranchers stood side by side on Main Street, dancing and sharing the festivities as peace had come to the step once again, of course. No longer would the mole miners be an issue. Ophelia thought, but Orange Sky was resolute. He and people had somewhere to go, of course. I would like to do this one. We lose stability, we get some political power, though. Ophelia was saddened by Orange Sky's departure, but with a wave and a friendly wink, she knew it was over. They left as quickly as they came, and so she had to turn back to the peoples of Rawlins, just as she had in years past. I read this one before too. Hunt and wild beasts. There are many horrible creatures that roam the fields of Wyoming at night. Most of them, <clears throat> tragic leftovers of Alton Burgess' carelessness in times gone by. Hunting them will not just make the land safer, but improve the finesse of our warriors. Outsmarting our betters. Many great forces surround the lands of Wyoming. What if one tries to breach our safety? We know the land better than almost anybody. We won't, we won't just make use of it. We'll make it part of our advantage. Oh, you better. There you go. If we can take it like this tile, I'll be happy. Because if we don't, we'll have to fight Earl Burroughs later. I'm we'll to fight Black Canyon later. We have to fight everybody later. Kinda gonna suck. Ooh. Hey, so one and a half is very good every day. And you know what? I'm just gonna convert you all to infantry. Or because they don't have anything on here, yeah. These already have two. Or that's one company on there. Um that's 10 at least. Converting these guys over would... Eh, it costs more, probably. Hmm. I guess I'm pressing the shift key. There you go, Rollins Cowboys. Not Rollins Cowboys, but Rollins Cowboys. That's one, the real Cowboys that we do lack. Uh, pee pee. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it again. Maximize our pee pee. Oh God, they, Oro Bros is moving in very quickly. I don't know if we'll be able to take him out. Oh, nope. Probably not. Which means us and Lone Trees maybe, but Lone Trees isn't super cool. Uh. 5 to 17, 5 to 17, how many divisions do they have? How much they have? I'd rather take out the Baron's Irie, even though it's going to be even more difficult, so... That's going to take quite a bit of time to do. Hmm. I need more people, though. We will need to do this one eventually, but we don't have to do it immediately. Get more caps and come. I think 150 is pretty good. Yeah, I think there's very pretty much anything we can do. Can we change government? Republic them? Dang it. Ah. Well, they're to follow the whim. It had been only a handful of days since the scouring of a far sun and the rest of the mole men's layers. Many of the watch were being treated of their wounds or chasing scattered miners into the hills, but the most important matter on everyone's mind was what was happening now. Back in Rollins, many people were celebrating their triumph, breaking out stakes and bottles of old Roman for the biggest party they could manage. While the streets buzzed with cheer and activity, there was a reserved tension within the uh, town hall. Within numerous figurettes gathered to decide the future of Highland Watch and the two peoples who had come together to form it. 
Chief Orange Sky and Ch Sheriff Mayweather naturally were the leaders, the same heroes who had slain Boss Morgol. The purpose of the discussion was to determine whether the time had come for the Arapaho to move on and continue their journey south, or perhaps they should make a new home for themselves here with the people of Rawlins and to stay for good. Many had made their cases, each speaking before the chief in turn, knowing that his word would be the last. Two eagles argued loudly that they had only barely begun their journey, that if they were ever to make their way to Oklahoma and find the southern kinsfolk, they needed to move on as soon as possible. Waterfly countered by saying that no one ever was sure the southern Arapaho still existed. When the last of the Arapaho had spoken, Sheriff Mayweather stood up to the speaker, hat gripped tight in her hands and close to her chest. Now, it ain't really my place to say too much all about this, but if you all decide you need to go, then, then you need to go. I think we all understand that, but I do have something to say anyway. Y'all are the best darn neighbors we could have asked for, and we'd all be mole food or something by now without you. Well, I don't know if they eat, but really you know what I mean. We'd love for you to stay and help us bring this whole area back from the dumps. I ain't too sure if I can do it without you, though I'm darn sure going to try either way. That's, uh, that's my piece. She set her hat back on the he her head, respectfully withdrawn, as the other townsfolk in the room nodded and murmured in agreement. When well, the room had gone, it sounded time for Chief Orange Sky to declare his decision. Enchanted, they would stay in Rawlins. Alas, but the Arapaho must move on. I definitely want to go with that one. Honestly, that'd be really cool. Like, in the future, when the Old Blues devs, like, move further uh, east towards, like, Oklahoma, maybe that'd be, like, a giant migration. Like, we'd lose, like, half our population and they'd all migrate to, like, Oklahoma or something. I think that'd be kind of cool. Oh, to bring about peace. The Black Canyon's Raiders. The paranoid madness of the lone trees, or even the supposed great cons that were causing ruckus up north, Ophelia started to realize that maybe they weren't as safe as they had been before. If the Arapaho hadn't come in at the last second, Rollins would surely have fallen. Maybe precautionary measures would have to be best. Would be best, she thought. Uh, I want to wait to do this one, because this is very good. Everyone thinks it's two, so we're going to wait. Breaching Firestone's armory, the Fire Suns had preliminary caches from before the war with advanced weapon, military weaponry. We want to take what we can and see what happens. Wyoming Trailblazers. Many of the old Rollins Rangers were getting the hang of the whole man on the frontier thing. They were overjoyed to share their knowledge with more and more folks. Ophelia's always grinned and say, have at it. Ah, roads for travelers and frontiersmen alike. Ophelia practically spat out the toothpick when, when she had the thought. With all the chaos in Wyoming and the vastness of the steppes, what few roads that remained were in incredibly poor shape. If she was to encourage any form of economic or outward growth, they would need to be restored, at least, to the best of view that they could manage. A trained populace. A gun in everyone's hand is one thing, but without the know-how to sling it, it's as useful as a bag of dirt and a drought. Training exercise won't just help folks know what to do, it'll save a lot of lives in the process. Friendly but territorial. A cautious hand can be better than a welcoming one, at least that's what most people think after trying to pet a mountain lion. Planning a way ahead. Oh, oh my doctrine. Expansion doctrine, so. Our wars have done much for protect our citizenry. Exalting them for their repeated victories would be appreciated, no? Go to Wyoming. Wyoming's a vast and beautiful land, full of opportunities for growth. We must take advantage of it so that our children may live easier. The waters of Wyoming. Though they are far from safe to drink in such towns, the lakes and rivers of Wyoming are far better than others found in the wasteland. With enough jury rigging, we can establish that a purifier help us with thirst. And escape from hardship. Many people stayed in Wyoming by accident. Maybe their caravans fell apart, maybe they just liked the people, or maybe it was just the weather. These people were quick to cap chat up the newcomers and work with the locals, and harvest in the Nuka Cola factory. To the north of the Nuka Cola factory lays derelict, we can salvage the bottles inside for caps, and maybe have a little R&R &R along the way if there's enough cola to be had, but I think I'm going to end the episode right there. We've got to figure out what we're going to do next, probably taking out the Baron's Diary, but we'll see. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a fat like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll talk about Ophelia Killer Queen Mayweather. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.